let's go and design our login page so let's open the login page here we have and now let me just quickly do everything we have so instead of this div oh sorry instead of this h1 i created it as a div and then i need a h1 and i call it login then here i can create a form and the form should be including uh, div which include the input field of type as uh, email and replicate it with type as password and that's easy actually one more last thing which should be for our submit button so i create a button and i call it login and this having a type of submit yep nice so this is actually a button and this is a text okay so let me style these things and then i will show you all these again and finally i have designed this login form with a background of purple i think no it's indigo 900 and the login title with the login button to text field with the email and the password type so everything is here you can get it from this repository also and then what i have want actually you know we are using old version of tailwind css so we have this 1.4.6 it's 1.7 currently running so i can say npm update while doing npm update it will actually update the library which are upgradable and now npm is updated so we can check on the package.json and we can see now it is 1.7.6 we can track from here also which should be like this one not yeah here we can see it has updated auto prefixer both cli and tailwind css with this new tailwind css which is here we have a gradient option also so we can search for the gradient gradient color stops like this so now i can convert this with some styling or gradient so it should be like background gradient gradient if it is not showing then you need to reload the window because by reloading it actually check the next thing which is not checking so once again i can do npm install now npm is also installed because previously it just upgraded but not uh, installed it so yes we have this background gradient to write only and then from indigo uh, 900 to indigo let's say 600 and this should be on not on the right it should be on the bottom so maybe bottom right let's try this and refresh oops we lost the server so npm run start now server is started yep you can see it is having a gradient if it is too sharp then i can use 700 looking nice and also on this uh, button it should be background bg gradient gradient to let's say once again to top right and then from yellow 900 900 to dark 600 to yellow 400 how about this <laughs> so somewhat good so this is how we design tailwind css login form and also let's create something like submission of form so what happened when form submit so on on submit we need to say handle form and let's create a function to handle the form so handle form is there which is accepting the e for event so i can say let me show you something so i can just log 
submitted okay so when we click on this button it should submit the form and we should have the console log let's open the console and refresh this page and now it says you have a unique prop so where we have left the unique prop in our app i got the point because we are mapping to these routes we need to give the index so like here and then provide the key as the index like here this should remove that warning yep and this is nice cool so let's submit this form and you can see it actually submits the form we can prevent it like we can say e dot prevent default so prevent the default action of submission of the form which is obviously submitting the form so once again remove that question mark and now if i click you can see form is actually not submitted by html way it is prevented and we have a console for submitted this is the simplest way we can have this